Okay, because I have a lot of topics to talk about and like subtopics, like what time of the day I stop eating, you know, to start to digest, to go to bed, and then like what I don't eat. So I have like <laughs> a pad filled with like everything. Hi everyone! So it is so cold outside, I just cannot get used to this weather. We've been having great weather in New York considering, you know, it's winter. And now there's snow on the ground and I just got back inside and I just feel like, ooh, I got the chills or something. Anyways, today is my updated belly fat video and I'm so excited to be making this video because this is one stubborn area. Like the, the stomach love handle situation, like this whole area. This video, I hope it really helps you out because these are all of my tips and like, I guess secrets in a way of how you can go about slimming the belly area and toning it up. First category and my first topic is food. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that the food, the diet, everything, that's the most important part. And I know that when you're first starting out, you might think, you know, what ab exercises can I do to get abs? What, you know, stomach exercises can I do to get a flatter stomach? It all comes down to the diet. Those things help, you know, the ab exercises help, but to really get that total body transformation, even like the ab definition, you know, I didn't just, I just started doing abs, you know, I didn't really do many abs when I first started out my journey and when I first started seeing ab definition. That all just came from, well, I'll talk about it when we talk about the workout side of things, but that just came from eating healthy and cardio, not I don't do any ab um, machines. So first, most importantly, we're gonna start with that. So that is the biggest question, hands down, that I always get asked is, what do you eat on your diet? So let's first start with breakfast and just break it down by meal. So breakfast today, I had pretty much what I have every day and I have plain yogurt with fruit in it and nuts. So the reason why I do that is one, I'm choosing plain yogurt over a sugary yogurt is because with the stomach, sugar really does matter. You may be able to have these strawberry yogurts and these, you know, flavored sugary yogurts to lose overall weight, but it may not help you with fat and that's what's on our stomach when we're having stomach issues. So that's why I switched to plain yogurt and I just flavor it myself. So instead of buying like the strawberry flavored Chobani yogurt, I just make my own strawberry yogurt. Today I actually had a blackberry yogurt, I had plain yogurt and I put blackberries in it and almonds and it was really good. That's a nice hearty breakfast. First of all, yogurt, plain yogurt, it's so thick, plain Greek yogurt, the Chobani brand is what we buy. It's so thick and it really does make me feel full and it's a good source of protein. So the next thing I wanna talk about is that there's fruit in my yogurt. The reason why I do that is not only for flavor, but fruit is going to provide some sugar, which does give me energy for the day. So I wanna talk about fruit for a minute because when you think of fruit, do you think of breakfast foods or like a snack on the side of lunch or something or a snack? You think of breakfast, right? I think of breakfast too, and I feel like that's kind of programmed in our mind to think fruit, breakfast, vegetables, dinner. That's a good thing. I like to have fruit in the beginning of the day, and I guess this is sort of like a secret. I like to have fruit between the hours of breakfast, <laughs> hours of breakfast, not an hour. I like to have fruit basically from breakfast time to lunch time, and that's it. I don't have fruit after lunch. And the reason why I do that is because fruit has sugar in it, which is good for during the day. So an example, fruit in my yogurt or fruit on the side of my lunch, that's ideal because that's going to give me sugar, which is going to give me energy for the day. That's the ideal time to have fruit. It's not such an ideal time to have fruit at the end of the day, like, you know, before you're gonna go to bed or at dinner because all that sugar's in your body and if we're having it in the morning, we want that. We want that to keep us, you know, going throughout the day. If we're having it at night, that's just sitting in our stomach, spiking our insulin and it has less time to go through our body. If I'm having it in the beginning of the day, I'm really burning it through my body, and then by the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm talking about nighttime and when you're gonna go to bed. The reason why I put almonds in my yogurt is also for flavor, but also almonds make me feel full, and they also provide protein. So, a big thing when you're on a diet is you wanna feel full, so that way you don't feel the constant need to binge on snacks, and, you know, that unsatisfied feeling. 
Okay, so now let's talk about lunchtime. So for lunch today, I had my squash stew, which I did show you guys the recipe and how I make it in one of my other videos, so I will put that down below if you're interested. But that's great because that's something so nice and clean. You know, it's basically, if you watch the video, it's vegetables, it's uh, spices, and then if you want to, top it with a little bit of plain yogurt, which once again, that's protein, so I'm having my vegetables, protein, and it's warm, so it feels good in my stomach while it's so cold out. And then for dinner, I'm going to be having our crock pot food, and we <laughs> recently got a crock pot, and it makes the most tender, just best chicken that just like melts in your mouth. So I'm having chicken with vegetables. We just threw in a bunch of vegetables, like celery, we threw in broccoli, we threw in a little bit of brown rice, so that's something else I traded. I traded white rice with brown rice, and there's carrots in there as well. So that's what I'm having for dinner. For snacks, sometimes I just have to get creative and open up my cookbook, and it has like a snack section, and you know, I'll find like different snacks that I can make, or you know, I'll have a protein shake with my almond milk, I'll have string cheese, carrots, you know, vegetables cut up, fruit cut up. So now I want to talk about food that I kind of avoided for a little bit while I was trying to lose weight in the stomach area. So the first is fatty meats, like burger meat, taco meat, stuff like that. I do have that now. If you saw my Instagram picture, we had tacos on a low-carb wrap. And, you know, at this point now, I lost so much weight on my stomach that I can afford to have that once in a while. But in the beginning, I just stuck to lean meat, like turkey and chicken. People will say, like, don't you get sick of chicken or don't you get sick of turkey? Like, we made turkey soup, we made chicken soup, we made crock pot chicken, crock pot turkey, like, crock pot turkey, and then I make a wrap out of that, and then the same thing with the chicken. Like, if you can get creative, then all power to you. Because the more creative you can be and the more inspired you get by the food you're eating, the better you'll do, the more consistent you'll be, and like I always say, the more consistent you are, the faster you'll get to your goal. Another thing that I like to avoid during the week is bread. You know, bread gets processed in our body as sugar, and it doesn't really do anything for us, and when I say bread, I mean all breads. Wheat bread, white bread, all of it. I don't really have bread. And then the third thing that I would really kind of eliminate out of your diet as much as you can, not completely if you can't, because I can't completely, but that's processed food. So two things that I can think of in my diet right now that are processed are the low-carb wraps that I eat, as well as coffee creamer. But if you look at my diet from last year, I probably could add 20 more things that I was eating every day. So it's kind of all about moderation. It's all about finding the balance. You know, I don't eat completely no processed food, like I should probably, but at least it's a huge improvement. My body took to that very quickly because processed food's not good for us, you know? It's gotta stick somewhere, and when I think of processed food, I think of all the bad things that are in it. So if you can keep processed food to a small little portion of your diet, like me, it's one wrap that I have every once in a while, then, you know, that's good. So another thing to be careful with, and I'm not saying you have to completely avoid it, but just be careful, is juice. You know, if you're making it yourself at home and squeezing it out, that's one thing, but if you're buying juice and it's filled with other things and sugar, you might as well just have the orange instead of the orange juice if that's what you're trying to get, like the benefit of an orange. Just have the orange or grapefruit. Sometimes I have grapefruits and I love grapefruits for breakfast. So yeah, be careful with juice. You know, they're filled with all sorts of things and you know, liquids count too. I try to only have water throughout the day and coffee in the morning. I mentioned that before, but yeah, I don't like to have juice, soda, alcohol during the week, nothing like that. You know, alcohol's empty calories. So I know a lot of people, like, they cut out alcohol and they're like, whoa, I lost so much weight. And that's because drinking like a glass of wine is like just drinking sugar. It's so much sugar and it's just empty. So it just goes into your body and just sits there. <laughs> And the last thing that I want to talk about with food is the 7 p.m. rule. A lot of people ask on my Instagram picture, do you stop eating after 7 p.m.? So yes and no, the 7 p.m. rule will only depend on what time you're going to bed, and I'm going to explain that now. So every night I stop eating four hours before I'm going to go to bed, if that makes sense. So if I'm going to go to bed at 11, then 7 p.m. is ideal. The reason why I do that is it's good to give your body four hours 
to really digest and just kind of burn everything out of your system before you go to bed. You don't want to go to bed with a cheeseburger on your stomach. And four hours to me is a good, good enough time to really let myself digest and not go to sleep with this full stomach and I'm just sleeping on it. You know, that's not good. So that's something that you might, that's something that could change everything for you. You know, if you're somebody that eats in bed right before bed, maybe don't do that. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is exercise. And there is one big secret, big tip, whatever you want to call it, with exercise and burning fat, and that's fasted cardio. Let me know down below if you want to see my fasted cardio routine. When I tell you, you feel so light, you feel so, first of all, rejuvenated because you're working out first thing in the morning. But when you are trying to lose fat, fasted cardio does some unique things. You can really just burn everything that's in your body versus burning what you just ate. I do fasted cardio about four times a week. Anything you kind of research on fat loss on the internet, fasted cardio kind of makes its way into these articles because it is really unique. Like you're burning off everything that was already in your stomach rather than a meal you just ate. So say you eat, you know, a banana before the gym, your body's going to burn that banana. But if you're doing fasted cardio, you're waking up in the morning and you're just starting fresh and you're burning off everything in your stomach. It's one of the best things I added into my routine. And, you know, you can do ab workouts. You know, I did um, upload my ab workout routine, so definitely check that out. But if you're doing fasted cardio, eating healthy, and ab workouts a few days a week, your stomach's going to be golden. You're going to be good to go. If you have any tips, secrets, or anything you want to talk about, Comment down below because we all help each other out and I'll read comments and then answer them and then other people will help answer them and we just all help each other. I love that my page has kind of become a place that we can all talk to each other and feel comfortable and judgment-free zone. Sorry Planet Fitness, I'm stealing that from you. But yeah, no judgment, everybody, we're all friends here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye!